In today's video, I'm going to be rehousing Peace Lotheria Rufalata, the Red Slate Ornamental. Everybody, welcome to this latest episode. I am your host Robbie, and this is Robbie's Talking Teas. Tarantula content for tarantula lovers just like yourselves. If you're looking to become a better tarantula keeper or just want to admire these animals, make sure to subscribe to the channel, comment down below, and hit that like button. In today's video, I'm going to be rehousing my Peace Lotheria Rufalata female into a gorgeous bioactive enclosure. So let's show you that rehousing. So here we have the uh, roof larder enclosure. As you can see, it's in need of a good clean up, which I normally do weekly and get all the poop and stuff off there and clean it up in general. But I thought, you know what? This week, I'm not just gonna clean it up. I'm actually gonna do a bioactive enclosure and just completely start it from scratch which I think is a much, much, much better idea. Now, I did recently sex this as a female. And you know what? I have no idea which cork bark she is in. I think she's in the big one here. So, I'm just gonna have a little look down there and see if I can spot her, because I obviously don't wanna go putting my hands in there and messing about with with the enclosure and I ah yeah she's in this bit of cool park right at least I know where she's at and I know where to get her out from also I don't advise you guys go putting your hands inside Peace Lotheria enclosures but because I know where she's at I'm really not at much risk. I am going to use some tongs though. Don't you hate it when people take time in taking everything out of their enclosures? For God's sakes Rob, just speed it up and let's show them what happens when we try and get her out of the cork bar. Mm. Yep. But this is the difficult part. How am I going to get her out? She is right down the bottom here. You can just make out her feet. And she is quite a big girl. I may have to... Right, what I'm going to do... Place this lid on the top just so she can't get out if she runs out the other end. Hopefully, I'll put it on the right way. And then what I'm going to have to do is poke her from the bottom and then catch cup her when she's in the enclosure. That is my only real course of action that I can take. And so the ordeal continued. I poked and prodded and poked and prodded and this girl just wouldn't come out of the cork bark tube. The problem I had was it was like a U shape and where I was using this straight pointer extender to try and get her out of the cork bark it just wouldn't turn the corner just enough just to poke her out the end so i had to use a bit of ingenuity and a little thought power and you know what 
we came up with a solution. It wasn't conventional, but let's show you what we did. Right, we're gonna bring out the big guns now. Got this bit of plastic that should bend, bend around the cork tube. And hopefully, Whoa, okay. She came down this end. That's it. Keep it moving. No, don't go back in. That's it, let go. Oh. And she's out. Finally she's out. And there she is. Oh. Oh. And that was fun. Now all we have to do is get her in the catch tube. And then and then we can set the enclosure up. <laughs> it's gone up the top. Now I don't mind it when they go up the top because it makes it a little bit easier to get them in, in the tube. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place the tube here, like so, and then hopefully I just touch her. She'll just back down into the catch tube. Sit. Down you go. No, down you go. Come on. Ah, so annoying. Typical piece of theory up behaviour. But we're going to go again. We'll go again. Hmm. Whoa! <laughs> that made me jump. Go on, in you go. Bosh, 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 bosh. All the way down. Good girl, good girl. Right, let's get you guys a better look at her, shall we? So there it is, Pistotheria rufolata. Now this is a female, just glad to have her in the catch tube finally. You're gonna get a better home love the coloration and the markings on these those greens and yellows are stunning and she is an absolute beauty beauty absolutely gorgeous should we get your new home set up yeah I think so 
So let's quickly go through setting up the new enclosure, quickly cleaning it out before sticking everything in it. This is my normal bioactive setup. We do use clay balls, the mesh. We also use my normal substrate, which is cocoa fiber, topsoil and vermiculite. We also stick a couple of gorgeous plants in there, which I'm absolutely loving. Some moss we collected from the woods and just putting water in there just to keep the moisture in the soil. So there we have it, the finished enclosure, just like the other bioactives. It's a bit of a basic setup, but it gives you a lot of cover inside the cork bark and behind the, the plants, but she should be really happy in there. Very basic, but I'm pleased with the way it turned out. Actually, it's not too elaborate. It's nice. Um, just thinking. Just back in some a couple of extra little touches. Just a. Yeah. yeah, I'm just going to leave that there. So it looks like a forest floor. I like that. I'm going to keep it like that. In fact, just tuck that in there like that. So now, yeah, now it just looks like a abandoned forest floor. I like that. Yeah, that's perfect. So, let's get her in there. So now we've got the little girl in question. I think she's ready for her new home, don't you? Such a stunning species of tarantula. Hopefully, she doesn't bolt out and I can get a nice view of her on the cork bark. And looking at her, her camouflage, she is going to look stunning against amongst the leaves. There's a good girl, go on. Nice new enclosure. There she is in her new home. Hopefully she turns around and comes back. Would be nice to see her colors. against the natural backdrop. I just love the natural camouflage on this species. Look how those greens and yellows, they blend in with the wood and the moss and the plants. You would never see it if it was right in front of you in the wild. Absolutely gorgeous species. If you're into Peace Lotheria like I am, I highly recommend you pick one of these up. They are so beautiful, easy to take care of, and look at it, you can't go wrong. It's stunning. But that's the end of the rehousing. We're going to leave this girl here to get settled in. I'm not going to bug her anymore. Enjoy your new enclosure, girl. So there you have it. A not so straightforward rehousing this time. It was difficult getting that piece of theria out of that cork bark. But with a little perseverance and a little bit of ingenuity using that 
toy arrow managed to get it out of there and into the new enclosure in one piece so all in all a very successful rehousing for a very stunning spider now this is the end of the video but before we go i want to take the time to remind you guys about the 2000 subscriber giveaway we've got going on the channel at 2000 subscribers i'll be giving one of you the chance to win everybody's favorite species a t celadonia if that's not enough, I'm also throwing in a Ferrophosa apophysis sling, which is about three or four centimetres, so a nice size for a sling. If that's something you're interested in, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel, go over and watch my Grammar Stola Rosea video, and just type T. Celadonia in the comments. Once you've done that, you'll be entered. Now all that's been said, I'm going to finish the video here. I hope you have a great day and a great week. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.